Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, back with more Mothership Jewel, where today we are flying around. You can see part of the ship and a fuel canister. That's right, if you remember at the end of last episode, I had some serious issues trying to get my uh, automated drone portion of the Mothership to actually attach to my space base, my space station Orbitropolis 2, because size does matter. So... The solution to that started to be attaching this can with larger docking ports to the space station, but I decided, screw it, let's orbit. So we have the unmanned portion of the ship up there, and the next part is to actually get people up on the ship, get a crew assigned. You can see that we have the flying part, the engine portion of the ship, which has some space for crew, some space for people in the science, or the science bay, not the science junior. You can see that I've added a few little additional parts, but this is, once again, I went over the concept of the ship last time. This is a bunch of fuel canisters, 16 nuclear rockets strapped on the back, because that's the tech that we're at. There's no interstellar tech or anything. And here's the launch, and you can see I do a few checks, because I was having a lot of physics bugs with this, where just the ship would fall apart and collapse for no good reason. But this launch is actually pretty smooth, pretty stable, so I'm going to be skipping through it just a little bit. But I say pretty smooth, pretty stable. There was a lot of just kind of uh, rotation, not the most perfect uh, launch system ever. But you can see again that I'm just checking constantly, hitting F3 to make sure parts aren't falling off. Now this is also pre-NASA update, so there's not any like... Uh, ship parts available that for any kind of ditch rescue effort. So these poor Kerbals, if they crash and burn, they crash and burn. But regardless, going up into space, this is going to be connecting with the drone portion of the ship, which is fortunately on a pretty good orbit. But you can see these stars starting to come out, and I had a really big hell of a time trying to get these uh, orbits aligned because I was kind of impatient with how I launched, and I wanted this connection to happen during the day but unfortunately getting these two ships together took quite a bit longer than I thought you can see the engine portion in the back just trying to get this fuel canister and this drone portion onto the other part and it is a kinda nightmare you can see actually from the maneuver nodes that I'm actually having to fly this kind of in reverse kind of just around a little bit wonky and while I've docked plenty of things by now I do have a lot of experience docking had a lot of problems getting this stuff together to the point where eventually you're going to see that I actually just say screw it and try and go the other way even though the engine portion the part with the four engines does not have any RCS and is very poorly balanced I almost just kind of want to ram the two docking ports together and some sort of uh, there's an innuendo to be had there but I don't know if we're going to take it but like I said I'm trying to do as mon many maneuvers as I can in daylight but as you're going to see in this video some things get dark and I'm going to need to download some kind of lighting mod. If you have any suggestions, feel free to put them in the comments. That brighten things up, at least in the ambient lighting, because it really helps in making video to uh, be able to see what's going on. But you can see right here, it looks like all the ports and everything are aligned, and maybe I could use the chase camera to make it work better. But is it going to happen? This is not very well massed, or the mass is not very well balanced. As you can see, just the slightest adjustments I have to make are just putting me totally off course. So do we get it? Do we get two parts of the ship together? So it flies very, very slowly towards each other, and there's a lot of cut footage from this, and snap, there we go. Two-thirds of the ship together, you see how much fuel is already gone. Remember from the test flight last time, the launch system for the engine portion of this, which is supposed to be savable and recoverable. It takes quite a bit of time, takes quite a bit of fuel, but it's just a matter of transferring that fuel over. I do have one Rocket Max gigantic orange fuel tank, and I have another one. There's actually a lot of fuel on this ship, but there is two-thirds of it, and then we have finally the lathe lander portion you can see that i do have a lot of action groups to go through here because i want to make sure that i have the jet engines activate on a certain key i want to make sure that i have the landing gears because there's two different sets going appropriately and you can see our remaining surviving crew in the orange suits and oh that's the physics stuff that's been going on here I've, been, I've just had a hell of a time with the physics actually working. Like, launches work fine, launches work fine. But especially with the uh, circle, with the large circular decouplers, for some reason, they just want to have the entire ship explode. But I've never had 
any like integrity just destroy like that but fortunately this is not hardcore mode and I'm not gonna accept uh, just glitchiness for this there now if you look at the clouds here this is the uh, old cloud mod as well there has been improvement to it. it's actually to the point where I'm starting to have to uh, try and run Kerbal Space Program tricking it into running in 64-bit mode just so I can get all of my mods going but, but apparently squad is working on a 64-bit client for this which would be fantastic because about two or so gigs of RAM is just not enough if you want to have all kinds of goodies in there but I'm just having to adjust my staging on the fly not what we want to have to do this is like hey look we're going to jewel apparently as you can see I'm not actually firing or decoupling like I'd like to here is actually I have totally totally screwed up so busy trying to get my staging together that I actually flew made my orbit way too high but the important thing is that at least my ship didn't explode because what I've ran into before is actually some pretty similar bugs where those wouldn't detach at the same time or when they would they'd strike another part of the ship but fortunately we're going to zoom in or zoom ahead a little bit even though this is starting to be at nighttime you can see here that I have all of the RCS on the drone portion of this can I get these ships together once again the middle part the part with all of the drones to swarm on other moons in the Julian system except for a few cursory RCS packs on the main flight unit that's it the lathe lander actually has no RCS on it at all and you can tell right away that the balance is just abysmal on the back end here there's just so much pushing to one side I've, I've really come to understand ship design better through making some kind of mega ship like this that either I need to make a tug that's viable it's going to be able to move everything around or I just need to uh, really get things together here because right now it's you can see once again that these parts are floating together quite nicely quite quite serenely even as the sun is going to be setting on Kerbin pretty soon here and this is going to be going into dark time just a little bit uh, unfortunately for me these parts are not at all close to each other and maybe I could get a dock and port mod that could help me visualize this a little better but I can see pretty quickly that this is just not gonna work just the way I'm trying to do it right now and you can see you'll be able to see here as I try and make some of these course adjustments here even backing up it really screws up not just my it's actually look at that it's screwing up my prograde vector which is is not what it should be doing at all I'm not able to zero out my velocity here because you know you want your ports to align as best you can so I'm trying to once again zero out my velocity relative to the target just target the docking bay thank you once again viewers who pointed out that I can't actually do that instead of trying to target the ship and just make it work so close so close to making this work but once again I'm just going to have to is I've already actually ditched the fuel canister here and I'm gonna have to ditch the drone section to just get everything put together and I will be honest with you this took a lot longer than I expected I actually have cut down for this video for this whole video I had to cut down about probably four hours of gameplay just really 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 surprising Parsh part of the reason that there is such a delay between the last episode and this episode on top of everything else because yes I'm still playing Kerbal Space Program still really like it and here's the sunset and here's the dark coming like I said, I was hoping to do a lot of these maneuvers in the daylight just because it's easier for you all to see. But eh, that's not working. Not working at all. But like I said, I am having a still quite a good time with Kerbal Space Program. I'm starting to kind of explore into uh, other planets, other systems on there, and really hitting the RAM, the system RAM issue really hard here. I have 8 gigs of RAM on my computer which used to be a thing once upon a time but now is apparently just I guess people will call it standard it's enough it's more than enough to run Kerbal Space Program even with a lot of mods but it kind of crunches things down a little bit but with Jewel in my sights here I am still thinking ahead to what kind of things I want to do for kind of a next mission looking ahead because when you look at all kinds of things all kinds of development not just space programs but in general they're not just trained in and focused on the mission at hand they have all kinds of things on the horizon all kinds of things that they're trying to work out as you can see hopefully you can see pretty well here the uh, here's the drone portion actually having to split off to pick up the poor 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 
lathe lander portion. So like I said, I had plenty of issues here, but at least this is pretty much going to be acting like the kind of tug I should have made before. And maybe I could have just made a little robo remote tug to get this all going. But once again, because this is all on the dark side of the planet, and the reason that I'm doing this on the dark side of the planet is that the orbits are all really different for these pieces, and if I screw around with it and just let it go, I'm going to have to manually fly these things back. So it's pretty, pretty tough. Especially when, don't forget, we're just around uh, Kerbin right now. And I could technically throw up as many Rockamax fuel tanks as I want to. But I really just want to kind of get this mission going. But eventually, I do get, as you can see the city lights in the background, I do get the entire ship together over the course of flying around the entire backside of the planet. And boom, we have a mothership just as the sun is rising on Kerbin, not Kerbin, Kerb, yeah, Kerbin, that's the planet we're on, Kerbin, you can see all of the engines, you can see the length of the ship, and I did get some comments on the ship when I'd originally posted this picture on Reddit that, hey, you shouldn't make a ship that has a, uh, that has a pusher, or is a pusher, is, there's the beautiful sunset, let's take that in for just a minute. One of the last times these brave star sailors will be seeing the sun this close as they go around Jewel in the distance. Because it's not too long before they're going to be flying off. This is the launch window. They need to go. And while Jewel has a pretty hefty launch window, just the beautiful sunrise there with the clouds, with everything else. And there's the mothership. You can see front part, Lathe Lander, middle part, drone bay, drone swarm area back part is the actual navigation unit the actual interplanetary system here lots of nuclear rockets going for as much efficiency as we can just kind of rotating around and like i said one comment and criticism i got from people is that i should be using something that's a puller instead of a pusher and while it is true that there is some wobble on the ship actually one of the pictures i took displayed a little bit of wobble there's two ways to combat ship wobbling like this one is to briefly time accelerate to like 5x for just a second and the other one is just to design a ship that's pretty well balanced and to be honest there wasn't too much of a wobble here. Here I am playing with the maneuver nodes. You can see that I actually ended up having to do a few orbits around the planet just flying like this to make sure I got a really good encounter because I wanted to try and get as, as fuel efficient as an encounter as possible having to do as little course correction as possible but eventually like many interplanetary transfers for someone like me you eventually get to the point where you just say, screw it, I really want to just get to Jewel. And this is something that I really wish they'd fix with the maneuver nodes here, where you could just access them, even with just a hotkey, and pull them up. Instead of the alternative, so there we go. You can see the marker's pretty close, and there's, oh, there's an encounter. There's an encounter. It's not the most beautiful encounter in the world, but it's on the other side here. It is over a million is that a million or billion i actually missed the number here uh kilometers away yeah it's just it's not too close but you know what jewel has a massive gravity well and we do have plenty of fuel for course corrections so the mothership's assembled everything's ready to go so let's push as you can see right here once again the uh, fears of wobbling you can see the ship kind of going into a little bit of accordion mode Docking ports are a lot better about it than the uh, decouplers. But the ship's still stable. But notice the problem that I'm having here. I made, I'm burning out pretty far from the um, node here. Just like I'm trying, because my goal is to do this in a few burns around carbon. But look at this, I'm actually burning towards the surface. And you can see what this is doing to my apoapsis. Practically nothing. But I'm just going by the old standard of, okay, if I have to do two or three burns around Kerbin, that's fine. But right away, even though I'm trying to test these things, I quickly realize, wait, I'm burning into the planet. That's not going to get, you don't go to other planets by burning into the planet. I at least want to be pointing towards the horizon just a little bit. And even then, this is still pretty fuel inefficient right here. And you'll see my maneuver notes are going to do some crazy things where... I mean, you look at some resources online. It doesn't take but a specific amount of a delta V to get to Jewel. And it has such a big gravity well that's relatively easy to get captured as long as you stay on the same plane. 
right here I do a lot of checking back and forth once again everything is still pretty stable as I have to actually stop there for a minute because I had family going hey hey what are you doing what are you doing because ah, playing late at night but yeah our crew is actually burning quite a bit of fuel and you, you got to start thinking about the fuel budget for this whole mission there's not a lot of excess on it and the mission right away is starting with a very 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 nasty bad burn and I'm just continuing to go with it you can see how far away the maneuver node is I'm supposed to be burning all the way through that and look at how far my uh, apoapsis is going it's barely doing anything I mean it's finally starting to move out but we're not going to the moon we're going to Joule and while this is a heavy ship 12 nuclear rockets should be able to get it moving pretty damn well even though I'm burning and once again burning below the horizon not ideal at all as you can see some other space debris over there yeah it's just this is once again look at how much fuel I am just dumping right now I never said I was the bestest of the best here but even then something about a uh, 16 nuclear rockets firing all at once pretty nice as long as the ship doesn't explode and it is not exploding as I'm starting to get a little concerned about what's my fuel situation what's my fuel situation it's not too good so one orbit as you can see what the maneuver nodes are trying to say just in terms of how much Delta V I need one orbit that's all it got me and now I'm just gonna see if I can learn from my mistakes a little bit because right now this is changing the launch window this is changing the encounter actually entirely I'm gonna be trying to do my burns now closer to the horizon as you can see the fiery butt of the ship you can see the nice 4k skybox in the background and there's a few other skyboxes available I kinda of prefer this one because it is more akin to the real Milky Way although I was reading recently something that made me feel nice and insignificant regarding well how many stars do we actually see in the night sky how close are they but we can get to another conversation we're out of time just jumping ahead here eventually I do spend my fuel and you can see just how much is left in my fuel tanks here you may be a little surprised to know that that's actually still enough for my mission on here even though all those ones are gone but we have pretty much an encounter and you're gonna see I keep burning here and actually go all the way from having an encounter to burning myself out of an encounter because when you get this far away from jewel or when you get to bodies this far away from each other even if it looks like you have an encounter the game will usually correct itself once you get out and it'll say nope you don't and then you're stuck kind of having to do mid-course corrections just to make sure but fortunately I do have a lot of fuel here so I'm just trying to look out a little bit and you see how much further out I've burned than my original maneuver node that's once again because I was doing off burns and eventually I just decided to say screw it I'm gonna burn to the horizon and I'll get there eventually but it takes so much fuel just to escape but I am actually jumping ahead here just a little bit too this is what the ship looks like an interplanetary actually flying on its way to Jewel and look at this we're actually captured in the Julian system not a ton of fuel but now it's just one quick course correction left to try and make a Jewel air capture and this ship is actually gonna be trying to go all the way together all in making this maneuver node just to go into the atmosphere and that's what we're gonna pick up next time so here we are today mothership ho we've made it to Jewel but we've dumped a lot of fuel doing it maybe too much fuel so do I have enough left for the mission it's going to be really tight, but that's it for now. This is Way to Fail with more Kerbal Space Program. I hope you like what you saw. Feel free to subscribe or at least leave comments. Uh, suggestions for future missions are great as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.